The NFL will undergo its first significant regular season change since 1978 as far as scheduling goes. And it's essentially adding another game. The NFL will have 17 games next year. Um, and there are significant changes when it comes to that as well because now it's going to eliminate a preseason game. So now it's going to be three preseason games and 17 regular season games with only one bye. And let's just say there are players who are not happy with this, and obviously so. Uh, Alvin Kamara was one of the first ones to come out and say that he was unhappy with the direction that the NFL took in this matter. Uh, And obviously, I think players in general would not be for adding another game. That's adding another game, adding more hits to their body. That's adding more chances for them to get hurt, which hurts their value in free agency. And it's just unnecessary. It's a move that's unnecessary. And a lot that's what a lot of critics of this move are saying. The NFL didn't need to make this move. It's not like, you know, when they added uh, another playoff team. That is something that, you know, has been talked about previously and that has gained a lot of ground, gained a lot of momentum. This isn't really something that many people wanted outside of NFL ownership. And why did they want it? Money. Every single decision that the NFL has made throughout almost its entirety has been about money. And we shouldn't, you know, mess around with that. We shouldn't uh, not say that because it's true. The NFL knows that adding another game would mean more profits for them. They just had another uh, deal with NBC, ESPN, and CBS, and Fox for television rights. They just had another one. That's going to give them more revenue. And they're coming off a season which was one of their lowest um, um, as far as income goes in almost a decade. And that's primarily because of COVID. So you have all those factors. That's why you've seen them make these huge billions of dollars worth of deals with Uh, The television rights deal with Amazon, and now they've added another game to kind of make up for this loss. And that's what they're they're saying. So that's like the the, the kind of notion that they want out. It's like, well, we we didn't make as much money as we needed to. And that's why the salary cap fell. And now players can't get paid and then teams can't keep specific players and blah, blah, blah. So we're adding another game. Even though they were going to get that television money anyway. Even though... They're planning to have fans back next year, so they're going to make up that money anyway. Even though players don't want it. Even though many fans don't want it. Fans are already... Football, I'm not going to lie. Like Football, 17 weeks of football is a lot. It is a lot. I know we get very depressed and when we get... You know, we miss football in the spring. That's not a question. But football can be a lot to keep up with because the games are so intense because, you know, you have all the news leading up to the week. And then, you know, nowadays there's like games every single day almost. But I think that, you know, adding another week to that, while some fans may like it, I I think a lot of other fans understand that this is a chance. This is brings a huge opportunity for more players to get hurt. And more players that get hurt, especially down the stretch. We Teams that make the playoffs, the reason that they are not apt to make the playoffs in next year, the reason that it's more difficult for them, especially teams that make Super Bowl, is because of the fatigue over time. They're, you're playing this intense, hard-hitting combat sport for weeks on end, putting your body on the line, working out like crazy get, to get ready for these games. And the and then it, that goes into February and now and now it has to go for another week and you're getting more hits on top of that. I don't blame players for not liking it. I don't blame them at all. If I was the NFLPA, I would have tried anything I could to avoid this. And you know, I also want to say I think we were in a good place. Honestly, we were in a really good place when it comes to scheduling we were in a really good place when it comes to you know the the playoffs as well because I think 16 games with seven teams in each conference making the playoffs that was awesome that was insanely entertaining 
because you had ten, you had ten and six team. You had a ten and six team in the Miami Dolphins in the AFC that didn't even make the playoffs with seven uh ga- with seven teams making the playoffs last year. It was intense competition throughout, and that's what we love to see. But you don't need to make it. You know, it just it doesn't make it better to add another game. It doesn't make it safer. The NFL has been all about safety. This guy, Roger Goodell, has been all about safety and and eliminating concussions and hits. How is adding another game going to help that? I'll tell you, it's not. So, I just don't, I mean, I get why. Again, it's all about money for them at the end of the day. It's all about bottom line. It's all about Jerry Jones getting money. How about them Cowboys? That's what it's about. So, you know, I don't want to hear that, oh, well, they're doing it for the integrity of the game. They're, they're making competition more intense. No. No. They're diluting the sport. You don't need to have 18 games or 17 games in a year. Also, the fact that they only have one bye week for this year, that's insane. That is insane. You got So you're adding another game, but you're not even going to give teams another week to rest. It's all about money. Always has been. Likely always will be. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.